God for those things that be not as though they were. Saying that Abraham, because, because when God spoke, Abraham's body was alive. But when God performed, Abraham's body was dead. Romans tells us that. He was alive. He said, no. so, so God had to wait till everything died. in order to bring resurrection. Now, that'll just preach all by itself. Some of you all are trying to hold on to things that God says, I'm trying to get everything dead. But you keep on holding on to stuff. You keep on saying, Lord, let me just hold on to this one last thing, God. Oh, please, Lord, don't take this from me. This is all I got left. And God is like, he's just, he's just pulling at you. Come on, come on. Just, let, just let it go. No, God, it's all I got. It's all I got. He's like, come on, just get up. Yes, beloved, he's trying to kill it all. Why you deal with Abram? He said, because I want to do, do some drama. And so God comes to Abram. God comes to Abram. He's 99. She's 98. And then the angel comes to him and says, all right, it's time. <laughs> right, that's, what, that's what he did. He laughed. <laughs> and then Sarah hears it. And she laughs too. She says, Shall my Lord no pleasure when, my, you know, when, when we old, we old, we we gonna have pleasure when we old. This that's, that's funny, and uh, and the angel says, "Why did Sarah laugh?" Sarah said, "No, I, I ain't laugh. I mean, you know, <laughs> I wasn't laughing." And the angel said, "Yes, she did laugh, even in her cynicism." He didn't say, I'm replacing you, woman. I'm going find him another Sarah. God was so covenant-minded, even in her cynicism, he said, this time next year, daughter. <laughs> Look at somebody say, this time next year, see. <laughs> he said, this, this time next year, I'm going to make a visitation. And you know, you know that, that you're going to be really laughing then. You ain't laughed yet. You ain't rejoiced yet like you're going to be rejoicing when God gets through with this process. You haven't rejoiced yet. And so Isaac comes along, drama, drama, drama. God reveals his covenant. God makes his covenant. God is a, God is a keeper of his covenant. He's an enabler of his covenant. And so he, he, he causes them to have Isaac. Isaac means she said, this was so funny. I'm just going to name a joker. I'm just going to name him after laughter. For some of you, you've been through so much and you need a little bit of laughter. Can I just say to you prophetically, your Isaacs are coming. Your Isaacs are coming. And why? Because God is it's a, a covenant, covenant keeper. And then God is a covenant revealer. And then God is a covenant enabler. He going to do what you can't do. He going to move in areas where you can't move. Just if you just be willing to just let go of some things and stop trying to wrestle with stuff that God is trying to kill. If you just be willing to say, Lord, not my will, but your will be done. I yield it all to you. If you have to strip me down to nothing, I believe on the other end of this, there's going to be an Isaac coming. I believe on the other end of this that I'm going to be rejoicing. I may be weeping now, but the old preacher say, weeping may endure for a night. Come on, stand on your feet. What's going to happen in the morning time? Joy is coming in the morning. <laughs>